www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. With the video that we have right now, I'd like to share to you and how you can use or make use of the vocal thickening effect or filter on Adobe Audition CS6. If you want to give some some thickness or some weight to a raw voice file that you have, then it's just a simple click. I mean, few clicks using your Adobe Audition CS6. Let me show you one file here that we've used on some videos that we've uploaded on YouTube. Uh, it says in there, telephone call dot mp3. Uh, it's it's a raw voice file. We would want to give some weight or some thickness to that in case it would sound. Um, I mean, if you need so, uh, you have a, an exact reason for for doing that. So again, just the purpose is to show you how you can make use of that effect right here. Click on Adobe Audition. I mean, open that. Go to your file path. Look up for that uh, MP3 file that we have in here. Click, hold, drag, drop. Uh, if you don't have editor view right here, go to window right on top. You got something that says editor right there. If you uncheck that, then you lose that. You could also do shortcut, uh, alt plus one. And there you go. It's on a waveform now. Uh, click on home so you get your starting point. I really need to talk to you right now. Um, sorry, let me play that back again. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. There you go. That's a telephone call uh, script that we've used in recording this raw file. Uh, if you play it back again, you would notice that it's still uh, not that hefty or not that weighty or not that thick. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. All right, so what we would want to do with that is give it a little thickness. Just go to effects right here. Go to some that says uh, modulation. Go to chorus and flanger. And you got something that says effect chorus flanger presets. Right here, go down to vocal thickening. Then you've got that. If you do chorus, uh, notice when I play it on preview. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. It's way better than the original file, right? If you just let me just go back and play it again so you would hear. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. All right, and let me go back to effects, modulation, chorus flanger, vocal thickening, play it. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. There you go. So it's a little thick now. It's a little bit uh, of a weight, or it's it's got a depth now in there. Or you would want to do flanger. Somehow it fades in uh, in sort of like a flange way. Select that, and you would notice it's way, way too different. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. All right, so for me, if you're just going to like make it sound a little bit natural, just give it a thickness for that raw file that you have. Just stick on chorus right here and click on apply and play it. I really need to talk to you right now. I'm having troubles with cooking noodles. Uh, I need your help. There you go. So in case you want to learn more about Adobe Audition CS6, please do subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash newtoworks, and do visit our website, www.newtoboss.com. Okay, my name is Ty. Thanks much for watching this video.